Assalamu alaikum sisters. Uh, I would like to now introduce you to Sister Kimberly Ben. And uh, I would like to first mention about, uh, about her in a bit. My home, my haven, my office. Meet our guest speaker, Sister Kimberly Ben, the founder of Muslimas Working at Home, which operates from the United States of America. Her website and Facebook page that Muslimas Working at Home provides news, tools, resources, and motivation and other information for Muslim women looking to start a home-based business or find legitimate work at home jobs. Please introduce, please welcome Sister Kimberly Ben. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum sisters. The Messenger of Allah said, none of you truly believes until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. I believe that if we all heed this hadith when it comes to one another, that we can increase good and opportunities in our community, inshallah. I'd like to see sisters come together and create strong networks where assistance and information is easily accessible. When you learn about something valuable, share it with your sisters and your network at large. Do this vis -vis Allah. I am impressed with how many sisters have decided to start home businesses and online businesses, mashallah. This is a wonderful thing that not only benefits the entrepreneurial sister, small businesses also have the potential to create flexible work at home opportunities for others. For example, you may start an online business tutoring students or providing homeschooling parents with an easy to follow planned curriculum. As your business grows, you may find yourself needing to hire a virtual assistant to manage administrative tasks or editors and proofreaders to make sure all of the content is polished and error free. Or maybe you decide to launch an online business conducting webinar workshops teaching other business owners how to create dynamic promotional videos for their businesses. As your business grows, you may need to hire a transcriptionist to transcribe the training webinars for your clients, and maybe even a webinar specialist to handle the technical aspects of conducting an online workshop so that you can fully concentrate on teaching. You can see how taking a simple business idea and turning it into a functioning operation can have a positive trickle-down effect. Each of the previously mentioned businesses could potentially create two or more job opportunities for other sisters that allow them the flexibility to earn an income working from home while also being present for their families. One reason that I so passionately champion home-based business and online business development so much is that although it is a blessing to be able to be a stay-at-home mother and care for your family, not everyone in this economy can afford to. Some families need two incomes to meet expenses. Some sisters are the sole or solely responsible for covering all living expenses because they're either single, divorced, or widowed. Coming together as a community and supporting valuable networks like the Muslim Network will make it easier to access the many resources available within the Ummah, inshallah. I receive so many emails from sisters that need work. Many are in situations that make accepting work outside of the home difficult, if not impossible. And the demand for remote telecommuting work is global. And the best way to meet this demand is by creating our own businesses and hiring the many talented, hardworking Muslims within our own community, inshallah. And I pray that Allah will keep us all on the straight path and bless the efforts of the Muslim network. Jazakallah khair. 